Hello Duelists, it's Tom Box here coming at you with a Spiral update. Update. So, a lot of people think that Spirals are dead and I would like to showcase several combos that they can still do that are very devastating if you actually let them open up to this point. And actually in this video I'm going to give you a deck profile after the combo, so uh, starting off with the combo, this is a two card, technically two card combo, but you do require other cards in your hand which is one additional monster that's just not Earth and uh, not a machine. How about that? You know, maybe that would work too. But you can actually change it up depending on how you like it. So starting off in this combo, I'm going to set up uh, one of the nastiest boards available to this deck, which is Normal Summon Quick Fix. And I'm going to search out the drone. I'm going to now activate Double Summon. Double Summon effect, giving me the extra Normal Summon. Now I can rearrange the top card of my opponent's deck, which will be this artifact, Marl Attack. Okay. Now I'm going to proceed to Link Summon into Double Helix. And since I already know the top card of the deck, I'm going to activate Helix Effect, call Monster. And now I get the special summon out of my Master Plan. Now Master Plan Effect, now I get to add a Rescue, Spiral Mission Rescue card. And from there I get to activate Quick Fix from the Graveyard. Summoning that, discarding that, and summoning out Quick Fix onto the field. Quick Fix Effect, I'm going to add the big red card. You guys still following me here? So basically up until this point it has been the same and this is the part where it starts to deviate a little bit and we're going to proceed to Link Summon and we're going to summon out a Decode Talker right now. Master Plan Effect, search out Agent and the Resort. You have to get the, you have to get the Agent. Without the agent, you're not able to actually follow up with your plays anymore since you're going to be a little bit more careful what you do in the coming parts of the combo. And now I'm going to activate Spiral Machine Rescue, Summon Out Master Plan. Master Plan Effect, search another Spiral Mission Rescue, but the quick fix is still right, right now on the field, but it won't be in a bit. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm going to link these two off into making the Firewall Dragon up top. With the Firewall Dragon up top, if your combo goes completely uninterrupted, uh, this is uh, going to be pretty good. Next up, we're going to activate the Big Red, and we're going to Special Summon out the Jerome, right under here. Doesn't really matter. And a Jerome you can rearrange if you want, and we're going to overlay into getting our DD Crow Searcher, uh, Liralusk, the Recital Starling, and you're gonna boost the attack of Firewall. Once boosted, you can detach the Quick Fix and get yourself a DD Crow. Because this is uh, also in the graveyard already. So far, I have two cards that you don't really know in my head. I have this Drone Lockbird, which could be any other monster aside from an Earth monster. So I'm running Spiral Tough. If it's Spiral Tough or Rhoda or anything like that, or just Druido, it's replaceable. It's just a monster that's not Earth. Uh, for me, it could be an Earth if you actually want extra proxy dragons. Okay, from this point on, uh, right now Quick Fix can't do anything because there's no Super Agent on the field, so I'm going to activate the Super Agent in my hand to summon it out on the far side and call him Monster so he comes out. Uh, there's no effects there, of course I'm going to use Spiral Resort at any point to kind of just lock down the field from being targeted and use Resort's effect. We're going to use Resort's effect to search a little early or change it up depending on uh, if you're playing a different kind of matchup. You can get that sleeper. And quick fix. Well, I'm gonna ditch this rescue to summon out the quick fix once again. Quick fix effect. I'm gonna add the last resort. And with the rescue, the second rescue, I'm gonna banish it and I'm gonna summon out the double helix onto the leftmost zone. So at this point, I want to get this off the field, but in a smart way because I don't want this to be banished just yet. So I'm going to link these two off into making a proxy dragon. Firewall will now trigger because a monster it points to went to the graveyard. So I'm going to summon out the Yeet Crow. So this is a guaranteed level one, not like this Droll Lock, which I will be using later. But now I'm going to link, uh, overlay these two together into making Sylvan Princess Sprite. 
At this point, it's pretty much RNG whether or not you get the cards in your hand or not. Um, so I'm just gonna RNG this one. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. And now I'm going to activate Sylvan Princess Bright's effect, detaching the quick fix. And top card. Well, I guess I throw the ash into the grave instead. But at this point, I'm going to link off these two now. Into making the Trigate Wizard. Trigate Wizard requires two monsters except tokens. There were no tokens in that in in transaction. Firewall is now going to activate. I'm going to summon out the monster that was in my hand uh, earlier this turn. So it's a three card combo-ish. Um, this last card could be any any other monsters. Plow, Tough, Spar, uh, Destrudo, another Hand Trap perhaps. And onto the field it goes. And note that I still have a Super Agent here. So I'm going to discard one of my random cards in my hand. Summon out the Quick Fix. Quick Fix effect is going to add a card back to my hand, so it's always worth. We're going to get ourselves the Utility Wire. Now we're going to link these two off into making an April Proxy Dragon, depending on how you like it. I'm gonna go with an Ib since I had two different types completely and two different attributes. And now I should have exactly three, or three or more actually, to summon out the sleeper that I added earlier. So I guess I can bash out the drone, the agent, and the car to summon out Spiral Sleeper. Then you can activate the last resort that was added earlier on in the field and equip it to him. And you can also set a utility wire right about here. And that basically finishes the board with one hand, one card in hand, or two cards in hand if you actually manage to get the add into your hand, or more depending on what you got. If you got like a foolish burial of goods, you could have pushed forward even further. But this is a pretty generic combo. If I didn't do it as optimal as possible, leave it down in the comment section below because I would like to learn it as well. But in this case, we have a firewall that's live that still hasn't bounced yet. We have a trigate wizard that can be triple co-linked, as you can see here. And since it's triple co-linked, I can negate uh, basically, what is it here? Once per turn, when a card or uh, card or effect is activated, it's a quick effect, negate the activation. And if you do, banish that card. So I have a negation, so that's not going to allow even the match to go through. I have a spiral sleep, but I can pop two cards. In other words, I can handle three, one monster card, two generic cards, one spell or trap card that would wreck my field. And I also have a utility wire, so I can, in total, answer one, two, three, four, five. Five cards for someone's opening hand. That's actually not bad. You still have one card in hand. If it's a hand trap, there might be six cards you can handle. And that just basically shuts down your opponent. If they somehow manage to wipe your board, if they manage to do that, um, yeah, you're pretty screwed because <laughs> this is pretty all any. Uh, if you use Firewall Dragon, don't forget your Quick Fix is already gone, so you're gonna have to use Firewall to bounce something back in your hand or prevent that whole situation from even happening. Uh, well, best of luck on that. Let's go on to combo two where we finish with a Baguska. All right, for the second combo here, it's going to be uh, an actual two card combo. So none, none of these cards actually matter. And it's gonna be another uh, spiral double summon combo. In other words, just a two spiral monster field that basically ends the board with a Baguska and an Ib and a Firewall Dragon right about here. So these cards, let's just put them aside just for card count. But for now, we're gonna start the combo off with a normal summon of the Quick Fix. Effect to search the Spiral Gear Drone. It's the safest one, or you can go with the other card. You're not really rearranging anything, you just wanna get a peek at the top. So let's add ourselves the Spiral Gear Drone. Now we're gonna activate the Double Summon. And uh, now I can actually normal summon once again, Spiral Gear Drone, and put this to the top, the Moral Attack. Now that we know that there's a monster on top, we're gonna perform the Link Summon. Link summon with double helix. Helix effect, call monster. Now I get myself the master plan, master plan effect. So this part is basically all the same. I don't think I need to call out every single step here. And uh, ditch the rescue to summon out the quick fix. Quick fix would get banished if it does leave the field. And uh, if it's a quick fix effect, now we're gonna fetch ourselves a big red car. Okay, so at this point, it's pretty much still the same. We're gonna activate the big red to summon out the drone and we're gonna link this off 
And to a decode talker. Decode taco master plan effect. We're gonna fetch ourselves a field spell plus an agent. So spiral agent and the resort. So this is the hand so far. And we're going to perform a overlay. A C summon into the starling. We're going to detach the quick fix to add ourselves a DD Crow. And of course, you can boost the attack of the Decode Talker. And now we're going to banish the mission of rescue to summon out the master plan. Just kind of directly under. It doesn't really matter too much. Just don't block this slot uh, for now. Right now, Quick Fix can't summon itself up because we lack an agent. And we're going to activate the Spiral Resort and Resort. And we're going to search a level 4. You can either search, um, a, if you don't run the tough, you can also search out the other spiral gear, the last resort, but I'm gonna, I do run this now because uh, I need the extra check now. So we're gonna add the spiral tough. And I already know the top card of the deck, so I'm gonna reveal super agent, call monster, summon this onto the field, and that basically all works out. Now I'm gonna use master plan's effect to add another, spiral, uh, another rescue onto my hand. And I'm going to summon out Quick Fix by discarding that rescue. And onto the field it goes. Effect of Quick Fix. You're not going to get any more Quick Fix searches this turn because you're not going to summon him out anymore. If you do, he's going to get banished. And the point of this whole combo is that Quick Fix doesn't get banished at the end. Unless it's really worth it. So I'm going to add myself another red card since I can't activate this anymore. Next up, I'm going to banish the rescue. To summon up double helix right here and then i'm going to link summon here into firewall dragon so you can't use this as a material because you need to use this as a baguska material so you can't really link it off anymore so instead i'm going to link off these two the double helix and the recital starling the combo changes up a lot if you get link karibo uh, but for now since we don't have link karibo we're going to go with what we have uh, and then we're going to link summon into an ib the reason why it has to be an Ib is Ib gives you a bit more protection, but you don't really have to use Ib. You can also use Proxy Dragon instead, but Ib is just, you can block that Geki, and that, that to me is a is a win. So monsters were sent to the graveyard where Firewall was pointing to, and if we, you can still like summon to either of these zones, so that's still pretty cool. Now, Firewall effect, we're going to summon out the DD Pro. Now we're going to overlay those two, into Sylvan Princess Sprite. Now, overall, most of the things were kind of stacked in the bottom, so I got a quick search on everything. Now, let's get a random search here. Effect of Sylvan Princess Sprite. We're gonna detach the quick fix, putting it back in the graveyard, and we're gonna excavate the top card. Oh, well, it's a set rotation. You know what, not bad, not bad. I can still do like a field spell lock. And uh, we're gonna link again. We're gonna do another link too. We got light. Plant versus a spellcaster water. We're gonna make a second ib. I know it's very resource heavy to actually just drop a second ib on this, but that's for now the only way I know of to put an ib onto the field. And then we're gonna trigger off the firewall. Firewall is going to summon out the spiral tough. Spiral tough is now going to turn into a baguska. So this baguska is protected. Firewall does have one bounce, so I have one bounce. And we have protection and we got negation and we still have a total of potentially four to five cards so that's the combo right here I don't know if you guys think it's pretty disgusting but I think it's pretty annoying that you can't really play your monsters properly thanks to the firewall and the bagus kind of locking up right Geki can be just locked out right here of course we do eat a lot of damage if we get evenly matched on this one so just be very careful on that maybe uh, consider siding in what's that card called um artifact lancia to prevent yourself from getting killed by that but that is this second combo i guess we'll go into the deck profile now okay so for this deck profile i guess this is an update to the profile it's got quite a bit of changes since we did lose about 11 cards and well this is the update you guys already saw the combos what this deck is capable of so i'm just gonna go straight into this just to not waste any more of your time we'll play one copy of gofu just free link access i'm considering running coral dragon because of this card but anyways they say it's a really powerful card i'm gonna run it anyway so one copy of destrudo 
Um, free body, linking is what this card does best and this free body gives you synchro access and can also clear off any people still playing set rotation to lock you out. Run triple, spiral agent, I hate the German one, really need another English one because I hate carrying translations. I will swap for free. Anyways, uh, agent, the only three of agent you, uh, spiral card you run now, I run one spiral tough because tough lets you peek at the top card and since the deck shift more towards playing double summon, uh, summoning spiral tough is equivalent of using a spiral drone. But this one at least carries the spiral name, so it's not like uh, Misty who does not carry a spiral name. One master plan, most of these cards are all one ofs now. Uh, this one you'll abuse a little bit more because you're running more missions now. Quick fix is limited to one now. And we have Spiral Gear Drone, also at one now. Um, you can use Double Summon, you can also search it out uh, as well. Still same thing. One last resort. <laughs> because you don't want to clog your hand with these ones. But it is level four, so there is some merit to this card. Spiral Sleeper. And I think that's it for the Spiral Monsters. Spiral Sleeper and Last Resort, the Wombo Combo, you want these two together because you get to free pop two cards. And just remember that you can only target, um, you have to target one of your own Spiral face-up cards to two of your opponent's cards, or up to two anyways. Hand trap wise, of course we have the one DD Crow that gets searched in combos. Except you might even consider running a second DD Crow now, just because you're not likely to keep one of them if you want to keep the quick fix alive in your graveyard. <laughs> alive in the graveyard, yeah, that's kind of redundant. Um, just because you're going to use it to exceed into, say, the, uh, the Sylvan Princess Sprite. Other hand trap maxi, maxi challenge, triple ash, because we want to st stun some searches regardless of whichever deck it is. And draw and lock word, I cut one out because it's no longer really a big problem. It's really good when you do it to an ABC player, so that's still there. And it's all really good against, uh, I guess, even spirals themselves. Into the spells, this is a really fat spell lineup uh, because we replaced most of these cards with spells. But for the one of, we got the one of for one, we've got the foolish bear, we've got the Rhoda. He's the one for one. You can search your agent now just for consistency. You can foolish burial a quick fix into the grave right if you really, really want that quick fix in there. It's not readily recommended, but I would throw Distrudo, but it's a flex choice and one for one for quick fix. I'm actually considering also using a glow up bulb just so that it's a free level one so that we can exceed with it. Next up, triple terraforming because we want to dig out the field spell because terraforming basically leads up to getting free cards, any free card you want. Triple resort because resort is your anti-targeting, anti, anti-bullying. Anti uh, well, you get to search whatever you want with this card once per turn, which is pretty sick and it has a really nice maintenance cost to put your cards back into your deck. Triple double summon. Uh, I guess this is a must play now because without double summon, you can't do anything. You need to set up two monsters in this deck and the best way to do it is actually just double summon. So uh, I'm not sure if people are playing the brilliant variant or not. I'm pretty sure some people might try it. I'm right now trying one spiral mission assault because I'm also running um, like foolish burial goods just to throw cards into the graveyard because a lot of the spiral missions, they have really good effects in the graveyard and sometimes this can give me a free summon from my hand and um, of course the other mission card can help me summon from the graveyard, but we'll get into that in a bit. Other field spells, I'll run one copy of Dragon Ravine just because I want the ditching effect. The ditching effect in Distrudo is the only reason why I run this card, that's it. For tech, I run one spiral gear fully armed. I don't know about you, but I really love the effect of this card, especially when it is successful. You get to banish whatever you hit, and you get to banish another card in the field. That to me, especially when all this happens during the damage step, which makes it harder for them to actually react to it, uh, this is one card that I really enjoy. And the other effect is when this card can, although it can miss timing, this card whenever it's sent to the graveyard when it's face up, or just sorry, destroyed when it's face up on the field, as the last thing in the chain, you can actually just summon out your agent back from the graveyard, which is pretty nice too. But the other thing about this card is the missing the timing thing. If you have this attached to a quick fix, or sorry, not quick fix, a double helix, 
and then you uh, link off the, the double helix, this will not proc because it will miss the timing. The last thing that happened wasn't the destruction of this card, but it was the summoning of your link monster. So this is not going to activate. It has those when you can condition. Yeah, it kind of sucks on that. And a pair of cars. We have two Clifford the Big Red cars. Uh, I guess it's a better version of Premature Burial, specific to um, Spirals. And we have Soul Charge. If you get this off, you should win the game because Soul Charge is ridiculously strong. And for the trap lineup, only three traps. We have a pair of rescues. You have to run two now. If you don't run two, you're not going to get the synergy. You're not going to be able to develop your board as much as you want. And you might even lose your quick fix a little bit ahead of time. But right now, as you can see in the combos, we technically focus more on bringing back our master plan. Master plan comes back more often, just so that you can search up more missions. So it's an actual, it replaces herself and lets you link up a little faster. Now onto the extra deck. Of course we have a pair of helix. I don't have three helix. I'm considering three helix. Right now, not necessary. I can still play with two. You could run a third one if you think you're burning your resources a bit too fast since it's harder to maintain your resource now. So a pair of Helix. I play one Proxy Dragon and a pair of Ibs. I like the pair of Ibs just because it protects you from more things and everything's kind of a different attribute and type anyway in the Spiral deck. And you need Link 2s, a lot of them. For Link 3s, we've got our Trifecta right here, we have Decode Taco, we have our Gaia Saber, and we have our Trigate Wizard, which came out in the recent Structure deck. Trigate Wizard, the new board play we set up in the first combo, basically gives us a free negation so we can actually block out the evenly matched. Gaia Saber just is an easy point down link, which I personally really enjoy having sometimes. Maybe it's a cheaper way than I can actually save up the Decode Taco for later if I'm holding like a Gofu or something. Now we have our, for our link fours, we have two firewalls and one barrel load. I'm not even sure if I need the extra firewall now. I can't, I don't seem to go, I don't seem to like have a game long enough to actually go into the second firewall. The game usually ends a bit too quick. But barrel load, holy crap, this card is amazing. I really love this card. If I have nothing else better to make, I will make a barrel load because you can't target it with monster effects and the game is so monster centric. If you have a barrel load protected by an ib or something else, this thing is a real annoying force to be reckoned with because you're going to steal your opponent's monster, forcing them into awkward situations. And whatever you steal, you can just link it off, synchro it off, exceed it off. You guys can kind of get the idea. That covers the link. And for the Xyz, we only run three here. We have a Recital Starling, a Princess Sprite, and a Baguska. You know Baguska is a nasty, nasty monster to leave on the field for your opponent because they can't do anything especially in defense mode and the attack mode even protects itself from being targeted or being destroyed i believe cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects that is correct and uh, yeah that's that for that part and finally we have an ancient fairy dragon for the destrudo just in case you guys just kind of get locked out of field spell or your opponent plays a field spell and you can pop it so you can actually use it as a terraforming. So there's that going for this monster. This is a lovely monster. And that covers it for this updated deck profile and updated combo. If you guys enjoyed this video and maybe if I did something wrong in the combos or you guys have a more optimal combo, leave it down in the comment section below. Teach me a thing or two because I'm very interested in becoming a better player. And I also, that just comes from you guys, you know, sharing among the community. And, um... A shout outs to Imperium Duelist. There's a discount code for uh, their recent mats. It's right here in the description. You can see it here. You get 25% off, which is huge. All right, guys, 25% off on a nice, lovely cloth mat. And anyways, if you guys want to see more stuff from MSD.TV, I'm going to try and uh, do a couple of ruling segments uh, upcoming. So stay tuned for that. And as always, don't forget to hold on to your MST. TV. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please drop us a like so we know we are doing a good job. And you can also subscribe to MSD.TV for more fantastic videos by clicking on the button on the left. Don't forget to check out our partners at Imperium Duelist. They make really high quality mats, including some of my own limited edition release stuff. And if you want to check out one of our past videos, click here on the right. As always, don't forget to hold on to your MSD.